the dew point are closer together and you see those clouds up in the sky. Now we take a look at the current temperatures and we see that temperature discrepancy. 59 to oh, 63 or so for towns by the lake at this moment with 78 still in Ironwood, 77 for Hayward, but down to 68 for Moose Lake, but still 79 in Grand Rapids and 81 International Falls. Tomorrow's temperature trends will be very similar, cooler by the lake, but not quite as warm inland, maybe upper 70s rather than lower 80s. Doppler map right now shows higher pressure still in control of the area for the most part, and especially for Wisconsinites and folks in the UP. In Minnesota, clouds are starting to creep in in advance of a low pressure system, and so that sets us up for a dual day on Thursday. Wisconsin and Michigan will still have the high, it will still be fairly sunny and pretty mild as well. In Minnesota, with the low bearing down, clouds will be a little bit thicker, and Thursday afternoon and evening will kick out a 30% chance for showers for that part of our world, which then fills in and becomes a 70% chance for showers and thunderstorms for everybody once we get into Friday, and that in turn devolves towards a 30-40% chance for showers on and off, both for Saturday, Sunday, and maybe Monday as well. So on that note, we get into the seven-day forecast. Tonight in Minnesota, mostly cloudy sky with lows from 50 to 55. Wisconsin and Michigan, partly cloudy sky with lows from 50 to 53. Tomorrow, one more sunny day and warm day for Wisconsin and Michigan, high 71 to 79. Minnesota, we'll call it partly sunny with a 30% chance for showers late in the day. 60s by the lake, 70s farther inland. Eyeing up this extended forecast, that rain chance lasts from Thursday night through Monday morning. Best chance again is Friday. We hold on to the 70s through Saturday, then we dial back to normal, lower 60s after that. All right, thank you, Dave. This weekend will be full of creativity as an international content creator festival called Catalyst has made its way back to Duluth. CBS 3's Abigail Smith is joining us live from Zeitgeist, one of the venues hosting events in downtown Duluth. Abby, it looks so cool behind you. What's going on down there? Yeah, Jenna, more than 600 people are at this festival. And as you can see, Superior Street is painted in red with the title of scripts that will be shown at the festival by different creatives. People are attending workshops, showing, doing showings, and reading scripts at places like the Zeitgeist, Blackwater, and North Shore Theater. Script titles burst from red stars along Superior Street, honoring and welcoming creatives from across the world. After a year apart, creatives have been anxiously waiting to get back together again, sharing ideas, pitching their own stories, and listening to huge agencies that have worked on hits like Netflix's Stranger Things. The festival focuses on television and show scripts. Some creators behind those scripts are also staking out Duluth for their next show. Duluthian Brandon Cole had his script selected into Catalyst and says he can't wait for bigger and better things. My hope and my 